Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Al Arkan here, and today we see a demultiplexer as decoder. All right. I hope you remember demultiplexer. All right. If you don't, so you watch that video first. And if you have not watched it, so then also you have to watch that video first. All right. You know, you you need to know what a demultiplexer is. And you know what a decoder is. So you know you need to know these both things, all right? So in this very uh, scenario, we obtain a two cross four multiplex. Uh, we obtain a two cross four decoder, two cross four decoder from a one cross four D max, all right? Okay. So let me draw them both first. Let's say this is your you are what? You are 1 cross 4 D max. So you have an input I and then you have four outputs and you have two select lines S1 and S0. All right. The outputs are let's say represented by Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3. And now in the 2 cross 4 decoder what do you have? This is your 2 to 4 decoder. So in this you have your two input lines. Let's say I1, I2, and four output lines. Let's say Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3. Is that fine? Or let me state them as I0 and I1, okay, for, for, for the easy sake, okay? I1 and I0, all right? Now, first you should know the basics of the DMAX and the basics of the decoder as well. I suppose we know together the basics of both. Now we look what? We want to use one of them as the other. So for that we have to look for similarities. For that we have to look for similarities between the two. And what I see uh, are a number of similarities. Let's say the first is the number of outputs. Number of outputs in both the cases we have two. Oh, we have four, sorry. We have four. And in the next, uh, the next similarity is the number of select lines or selector variables. In both cases, two. Now you would say that these are inputs, not the select variables. So these are basically the selector variables. The output depends on these two, as in this case depends on these two. So now how to combine this concept together? We see what? Four outputs, they're the same. All right. Now if I do what? If I provide this I a logic one, provide I of D max I logic one. A logic one means what? A high state. Provided a high state, which means a plus five volt state in this TTL logic. So which means if you provide in a logic high, this is a one. Now which now we mean that this one would be connected to these different outputs, depending on S1 and S0. Now for the truth table, S1 and S0, if both of them are zero, so this one would be connected to Y0. In this case, and if, if both of them are zero, I0 and I1, if both of them are zero, sorry, I1 and I0, if both of them are zero, so the output goes what? Y naught is set as high. Yes? Now if it's one is zero, if you have a zero one, so, so this is connected to this Y1, which means Y1 would now be set high because this is a one. All right? And similarly over here, if you have a zero one, so this Y1 is set high in decoders. Now if you have a one zero, so this would be connected to Y2 and also in decoders you have if you have a if you have a one zero, so Y2 is set as high. And similarly for one one, 
the, uh, the input is connected to Y3 and over here we have a high state which means Y3 would be 1 and also in decoders if you have both is 1 so Y3 is set as 1 which means now this is acting as a decoder and how if you provide logic 1 to what to the input of the demultiplexer and replace the input line let's say this I1 is equal to S1 and I0 is equal to S line. You replace the select line also. So that's about the simple, okay? Similarly, you can have a, 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 a 3 cross 8 demultiplexer. Similarly, you can have a 3 cross 8 decoder using a 1 cross 8 DMUX. And how is that? Again, you provide a logic one to your input of the demultiplexer, all right? And you replace the uh, selector variables. I2 is equal to S2, I1 would be equal to S1, and I0 will be equal to S0, all right? So I hope that is clear, okay? So that's all about today. And I believe this is one of the last lectures of the combinational circuits as well, okay? So, see you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. And do subscribe to the YouTube channel, like and follow us on Facebook as well. Goodbye.